हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर के जी रेवतकर फ्रॉम डॉक्टर अंबेडकर कॉलेज टुडे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द सिंथेसिस ऑफ नैनो मटेरियल बाय केमिकल मेथड एज इन माय प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस आई एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द फिजिकल मेथड दैट इज टॉप डाउन अप्रोच मेथड एंड द फर्स्ट वीडियो व्हिच आई आई प्रिपेयर्ड इज ऑन द नैनो मटेरियल बेसिक्स ऑफ नैनो मटेरियल सो टुडे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट द नैनो मटेरियल सिंथेसिस द वेयर इन i am focusing in today's video is on the chemical method this biological aspect we can see in the later videos so in the chemical method mostly the four methods that is a sol gel chemical vapor deposition colloidal method and spray pyrolysis method these are four methods which has been mostly used in industries for development of the nano material by using the chemical uh, root or chemical technique so in a uh, bottom up approach as i told you that we can uh, design a desired material or required material by atom by atom or molecule by molecule this is a physical uh, approach we can say that so in a top down approach uh, the, these are the physical methods by which we can prepare the nano material so from bulk to a nano particle size and from small atom to atom we can move toward the Uh, we can uh, design or we can prepare the nano materials of a desired size and this is about the green synthesis wherein the plant products that has been used or sometimes a micro organism that can also be used now uh, in chemical method today i am explaining you this different six methods wherein the first is a chemical vapor deposition as we have seen in a physical vapor deposition the difference between the chemical and physical vapor deposition method we can see then the another method synthesis of metal and semiconductor then langmuir block method micro emulsion sol gel technique combustion method wet chemical method and electric arc deposition method so let us start with the first uh, method of nanomaterial synthesis that is a chemical vapor deposition the chemical vapor deposition uh, method uh, is a vacuum deposition method used to produce a high quality high performance solid materials mostly this is been used in the semiconductor industries as you can see over here uh, this process will goes in a uh, six different uh, seven eight different uh, ways the first one is the transportation of the uh, reactants then the reaction the third one is a diffusion of the the whatever precursor that we have taken so they will get diffused over the substrate and the formation of the film then adsorption of the precursor whatever precursor that we have used they get absorbed over there in the film and on the on the film and then the surface diffusion also that will be taking place because some heat will be given over there to simultaneously and then after that surface diffusion the surface reaction that will take place so that whatever the uh, the uh, material that we are uh, we are expecting out of it that will be prepared over there then distors this desorption of the by product whatever the by product that will be coming out that will be taken away and then finally it will be removed with the help of the vacuum pump this is how the chemical vapor deposition method that takes place and this the difference between the physical and chemical vapor deposition method is that the pvd is a line of site coating process most of the times it is been used for the coating process uh, uh, allows for the thin film coating and uh, in the cvd on the other hand stands for the chemical vapor deposition is a thicker to the to protect against the heat so cvd proves to be the best for rugging and pvd is mostly used for the typically finishing products then second kind of the uh, third method we can say that different method synthesis of metal and the semiconductor by colloidal route so in the in this process the colloidal method is a traditional method of synthesis of inorganic nano crystals including a semiconductor and metals so micro emulsion is transparent so we can see over here also here um, in this figure that the micro emulsion that will be considered and thermodynamically stable liquid mixture of isotropic oil and water that will be taken together and if these two immiscible liquids are stirred for some time they will be stirred with the help of the stirrer then together mechanically so they will form the emulsion as we can see over here like a colloidal 
weight. So after formation of the emulsion, the smaller quantity attempts to form a small droplet because there are two liquids which we are using, the oil and the water, which are immiscible together so that they can be separated from each other by rest of the liquid. This method is usually used to produce the 3D porous architecture for catalysis. So you can see over here from the emulsion then converted into the colloidal wet gel and then finally the aerogel by removing the, um, the liquid uh, water from that so that we can form this micro um, uh, emulsion that will be formed over there so that we can get finally the product and which is having the nano size, nano product. Now then this is a Langmuir block method that is known as LB method. In this Longmore block method is based on the transfer process of a monolayer absorb at the water interface. Langmuir film form the air water interface onto solid by vertical dipping of the substrate immersed on the subface. So I can show you the, uh, the film also so that you can easily understand how this it goes. So the technique allows the continuous variation of material density, packing and arrangement by compressing or expanding the film by using barriers. So barriers we are using we are here. So we can have a subphase over here. So this Langmuir block, uh, block gate method uh, is producing the film in the vertical form, deposition form and horizontal deposition form also. But we require the surface and the, the uh, oil and the water that should be used over here. So in this case, so uh, the technique allows the continuous variation of material density and packing arrangement by compressing or expanding the film barriers. So it has been less employed to transfer graphing derivatives or the total material quantity uh, TMC material uh, onto a solid substrate. So if we uh, have a look at this film then it will be easily understood that how this uh, coating of uh, the uh, film will take. So solo or containing subphase will be there over here on this case and then these two barriers are there and then from here the liquid and oil drop that will be drop so monolayer dispersion uh, will takes place and then meniscus of the surface so if you look at the graph between the area and the surface pressure then we can find out that by bringing these barriers nearer so this monolayer, monolayer that will be formed and from here we can lift this layer in the upward direction so that here a vertical film so yeah in this direction the block will be bring down so that this monolayer will get into a vertical kind of the thin uh, film formation that will be taking place so here in this method we can have the vertical deposition as well as horizontal deposition so in both way we can deposit the material and this is used most of the times for two dimensional materials in technological application. The next method of micro uh, uh, emulsion method is very simple method. In, in this micro emulsion simple method, uh, there are three different phases that has been used. One is a water, oil and the another phase we can say that is a uh, um, Third phase is a material or surfactant that sometimes that has been used. So thermodynamically stable isotropic liquid as I told you water, oil and surfactant frequently in combination with the sometime a co-surfactant can also be used. The aqueous phase may contain salts. Yes, in the aqueous phase we, we can take a salts generally whatever the uh, elements we have to take that element or metal salt we can consider over here and then the oil phase we consider the complex mixture of different hydrocarbons or olefins in contrast to the ordinary emulsion. So this method is a micro emulsion from form uh, upon uh, simple mixing of the components and do not require any high shear that is a stress condition generally used in the formation of ordinary emulsion. So the three basic phases of the micro emulsion are direct oil dispersed in the water O oblique W or the reverse way the other way also we can think water in, w, uh, in oil 
and bio continuous um, methods so these are the three methods or there so in this case in ternary system such as a micro emulsion where two immiscible phases water or oil or the other different solvents also we can take are present with the surfactant the surfactant molecules may form a mono layer you can see over here so oil in uh, water in oil immersion micro emulsion that will be formed and then it will be mix up over here and then formation of ala you can see ala and the surfactant that will be taken together mix in the water mix together by adjusting the ph this kind of the micro emulsion that will be formed and in vitro release also we can release them so this is the oil micro emulsion method where you can see these droplets so here we can have the, uh, the um, uh, micro emulsions which are soluble in water and the tail part that will be soluble in water so they will form that kind of the monolayer so those which are hydro hydrophobic tails so that will uh, dissolve into the oil and the the hydrophilic molecules that will dissolve into the water so this way the micro emulsion that will be formed then wet chemical method which is a very simple method wherein we can take the uh, the material which we want to uh, form the, into the nano material so we can mix up them together then the in the precursor solution we can prepare a precursor solution of that then we can sometime we if we require then we can do some stirring also this solution that will be dissolved in ionized water maybe sometime double or triple ionized water then or sometime a pva solution that will be taken polyvinyl acetate solution that will be taken then after mixing this they can be dried off at a various temperature varying temperature depending upon the required so that finally the organic product that will be formed so this product that will be grinded and again if required then they will be finally calcinated so this is how the simple um, uh, we can say that the method wet chemical method in even uh, this method is also sometimes called as a bench chemistry because we can perform it on a laboratory bench also now the sol gel technique is there the sol gel process is a wet chemical technique also known as chemical solution deposition and involves some steps are there of which the hydrolysis and the polycondensation of the condensation uh, in a polycrystalline form that they will condense then a gelation gel formation then aging allow to settle down the gel then we can dry and then densification removing the solvent from the material and finally the crystallization process so from this video also okay this is not opening so maybe some problem otherwise i could have shown you anyway so soil uh, we can take uh, the metal alkoxide or metal solution then we can dissolve them into the solvent then after dissolving the sol is formed then after sol formation that will be allowed to get into a gel formation or wet gel formation this can be directly coated on the zero gel film and then after heating we can get the dense film also the other process we can evaporate do some evaporation with the help of the heating then evaporation the the, the cluster that will be formed and after heating we can get a dense ceramic or direct we can precipitate them by uh, using the, uh, the process and then uniform particle formation that will be takes place so that is also possible or from the soul the spinning we can take after spinning on the magnetic or stirrer then they will be allowed to get into the gel formation after sol to gel and then gel will be placed into the furnace and finally we can have the ceramic product or from wet gel also we can extract the solvent take out so that the aerogel that also be formed over there. So now there is another method which is a very simple method one can perform even in a small laboratory without much of the high tech instrument one is called as the conventional ceramic technique conventional ceramic technique consists of a furnace and the from the wet chemical method we can prepare the sol or the gel or the liquid we can say that whose nanoparticle we require then we can give some subsequent heating a small heating then so gel formation and then directly we can transfer that gel into the furnace and finally after the burning 
or the sintering we can get the final product also now the same process we can continue or we can do it on a microwave processor a simple domestic microwave processor can also be used here by using the uh, the solution and the alcohol alcohol al metals together we can mix them dissolve them form the gel and then gel that water we can remove the extra excess water we can remove so that the viscous gel will be formed and then by transferring the viscous gel into the microwave we can finally get a fluffy mass that after crushing that uh, it is possible to have the nanocyte particle so this method is mostly used for the phosphor synthesis or some kind of the ferrite molecules also now here i am explaining the auto combustion uh, method sol gel auto combustion method where we have seen the sol gel method and combustion method combustion method is of two type one is by the conventional heating and another one is the the uh, uh, microwave assisted method here we can take so here uh, nickel ferrite that will be formed so for that we can we are taking the precursor and then we can dissolve them into the uh, distilled water triple distilled, uh, distilled water so that this kind of the gel that will be formed the quantity that we have to decide the molecular proportion we have to take the precursor then on a magnetic heater or stirrer we can heat them slowly heating so that the excess of water that can be removed after that the solution that will be transferred into a gel and then this gel will be transferred to a microwave like this we can put it into microwave and maybe in two or three minutes that burning process or the combustion process that will be taking place which will transfer the gel uh, into a fluffy mass then that this is a conventional furnace wherein we can do the sintering also this combustion process we can say that wherein you can see this gel will be transferring into a fluffy mass so finally this ash or this powder that can be crushed into a pestle mortar or sometime we can have the ball milling grinder also so with the help of uh, that grinding we can do the grinding and finally we get uh, the ultra fine powder and this we can pack into a bottle uh, uh, for sending uh, the analysis so this is how a simple soluble auto combustion method is there which can be easily performed in the laboratory the advantages of the soluble method is it is energy efficient because very small uh, time is required maybe 2 to 3 minute uh, we can prepare a uh, uh, nano material then short reaction time is there ultra fine powder that is guaranteed we can get a better size particle the particle distribution is very good then excellent chemical homogeneity and of course it is a low cost equipment is also a simple furnace or a microwave domestic microwave can also be sometime used with a small improvisation into it so this is how we can uh, produce a nano material from uh, by using a different methods which are simple and at the laboratory level it is possible to uh, design the instrumentation and prepare the nano particle so thank you very much thank you so hope uh, you got some ideas about the synthesis of nano particle uh, particle by using the chemical process so uh, please like my video thank you